All right, take two. I've already failed at this one time. Let's try to do it again. Ultimate goal, hold it together. All right, this is a, uh, can I get two words out? That'd be nice if I can get two words out of my mouth. All right, let's go. The hardest video I'll ever film in my life. God damn it. Ah. All right, let's try again. Hey everyone, my name is Gabe Cruz. I'm the acting YouTube manager for Braille Skateboarding, which basically means that for the past seven years since mid 2017, I've been doing all the behind the scenes stuff for the main Braille YouTube channel, coming up with video ideas, filming them, getting them assigned to editors, making thumbnails, uploading the videos, uh, SEO research, whatever you want to, anything you can possibly think of behind the scenes, I've probably had something to do with it for the last seven and a half years of my life. And my history with Braille goes even further than that. But today, um, I don't even know how to say it, but um, today is my last day with Braille skateboarding. So before I get into any of the hard stuff, I think what's really important about this journey is going back to the very beginning and just appreciating where everything started, which for me started back in 2013 as just a young 14, 15 year old boy who was watching Braille videos just like everyone else. Um, I don't even think Lance was really on the channel yet and it was just Aaron doing a bunch of like trick tips and skating with the revenge guys. And back when I started skating in 2012, I didn't really gravitate towards like the real kind of like skate scene, I guess you can call it. I gravitated instantly towards Aaron and Revenge's uh, charisma and, and just the vibe that they had and the openness they had to just, you know, not be the greatest skaters, but just be the greatest of friends and, uh, and have fun. I, I just love that as a kid. And, you know, as a new skater, sometimes you can feel the pressure of not being the best and you can feel very alienated and alone when you're not doing hard tricks or, or you know, the good kids at the skate park look at you funny because you can't do, do a kickflip. So, the fact that you can, you know, watch these videos on YouTube and, and grow up with these guys and they kind of, you know, give you the, the support that you didn't even know you needed to, to improve and, and you feel like you have a friend there. It was, it was kind of what started my whole skateboarding career and uh, started up a whole dream to actually meet Aaron and, and somehow work with him. I didn't know how it was going to happen at the time. I, I had no plans for anything, but Basically what happened is Aaron did these skate supports where basically people would submit a video that they make where they show a trick that they need help with. Aaron then reacts to it and then he teaches the people how to do the trick on a video and post it on YouTube on the Braille channel. I at the time was having trouble with tray flips. I just wanted some help, sent in a, a tray flip skate support and my thing was that I wanted to get noticed and I wanted to make sure I stood out from everyone else so he can help me out. And uh, I was doing special effects at the time, doing some video editing. So what I did was teleport myself in, just like Harry Potter, if you've seen Harry Potter. It got the attention that I desired. And, uh, and Aaron actually featured my skate support and he helped me learn how to tray flip very shortly after he made that video. I was landing tray flips. And then he posted a, a, I think it was a picture on Instagram saying that him and Lance would be going to Fremont Skate Park. So I was like, nah, there's gonna be so many people there. Like, it's not even worth the time. Like, I'm not gonna be able to see him won't be able to talk to him how I, how I want to talk to him like it's not worth it and and thankfully my mom my uh, my manager she was like you are gonna go and you're gonna talk to Aaron whether I have to put you in this car and drag you to the skate park myself so thankfully she stepped in and did that because ultimately it resulted in me talking to Aaron we filmed another tray flip skate sport this time live where he helped me basically finalize my tray flip technique and uh and i finally got to talk to him and, and realize that he did remember me for me familiar. from the skate sport video from the clip of me teleporting in which blew my mind at the time and basically my pitch then was just aaron if you if you ever need help with anything here's my phone number i wrote my phone number on a receipt give me a call or shoot me a text whatever and anything you need help with just give me a call so that's when I was 15. That was, I believe, in January of 2014. So over 10 years now. And my first skate sport was featured in December of 2013, which is absolutely insane to think about now. But basically a few weeks passed by, some, you know, kind of just expected to not get that text. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden I got a text from this random number. 
I was like, hey Gabe, it's Aaron Cairo. I need help with this, this campaign I'm working on, hashtag push skateboarding, and uh, I need some motion graphics for it. So let's see what you got, basically. And uh, I didn't even know what to think. He just gave me a basic rundown of what he needed, and, and my only thought in my mind was just, I need to nail this, and I need to show him what I'm made of. So I, I, I did. Uh, I think I nailed that, and then there was a, a Braille Army logo he asked for, and then a few title cards for some, some skaters at the time, and at that point, I think it's maybe like late March, and uh, we're coming up on my birthday, which is April 13th today, and I've been working with him, we were a little closer, um, and then uh, I just thought to ask him, like, hey, it's my birthday coming up, do you mind if I go and meet you guys at the old spot and, and film with you guys for the day? I just didn't really think anything of it. I just thought it'd be really special to go spend the day with them. Didn't think it would be a permanent thing. And really, I was hoping it would just be like a cool birthday present to just go and chill with Aaron and Lance for the day. Um, I show up, I have my, I don't even have my driver's license at the time. So my mom dropped me off around the corner with, with my driver's permit. And I just drove up by myself to see him all cool. And uh, it's hilarious looking back at it. But yeah, he, he gave me a signed used board that he had and a shirt and some stickers. And I filmed the day in the life, which you'll probably see some clips of in this video. And you know, I, I thought that at that time, that was just the, the greatest day ever. Like there's nothing that could have made that day any more special, any more meaningful to me. And then uh, that one time slowly blossomed into me filming with them every single weekend. And then I was filming videos with Aaron and Lance, learning tricks, Aaron was teaching me tricks. And then uh, it evolved into me learning how to film their videos and how to edit their their style of videos and Aaron and Lance came to my house and personally trained me in how to use Adobe Premiere Pro because all I could do was After Effects at the time and, and iMovie and uh, I started editing the skate supports so any submission that we got I would go sort through them and, and send them that send the final edit to Aaron and then um, I started doing uh, user submitted Braille Army videos so anytime those would be sent in I'd make sure they were edited up correctly and posted correctly and just Basically, it just kept evolving and evolving until uh, 2016, I graduate from high school. I think I'm actually on my way back from a trip down to LA and I'm driving up and this whole time, I'm basically just like an intern, right? Just, you know, paying my dues and, and doing what I can to help out. Every step of that way, I was just grateful to be involved, grateful to be growing closer to Aaron and Lance. And uh, when I was driving home from LA, 2016, October, early October, I got a text from Aaron saying, we're getting a private skate park. Do you want a full-time job? And uh, that's, that's the history right there. Obviously accepted that this was like a dream come true. First full-time job, working with Braille, working with Aaron, working with Lance. We got a brand new private skate park here. I got to see the warehouse before the floors were grinded down. So I was the Braille Army in charge for uh, starting in 2016. And then 2018, early 2018 is when Lance decided to step away from braille skateboarding and and then basically i had the enormous task of filling in lance's hairy bigfoot which is an inside joke from a long time ago but it was my my role then to run braille skateboarding channel i'd come up with the ideas had to figure out the upload schedule and 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 basically a small portion of what i do today started that day and that was early 2018 and ever since then my my job as a youtube manager has has evolved into just a, a massive plethora of different things that I've done throughout the years that I've enjoyed more than words can even explain, which is why I sit here in April 2024 and I'm having such a hard time filming this video because oh man because it really is the truth that this is my last day with Braille skateboarding. I've, you know, the honest truth is, is I'm, I'm 25, I'm still pretty young, and I've had the most incredible, magical time working with Braille over the last 10 years. There's really nothing, I don't even think there's anything I can fully say or like any words that I can explain the dream come true that I've been living in for the past 10 years. The friendships I've made, the incredible content, the incredible projects that we've produced, and just the unbelievable moments that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. The, I, I came on to Braille when I was 15 turning 16 and now I'm turning 26 and I've literally grown up my, my entire my late teenage years and my early adult years have been this. And Aaron, Aaron has been the most fantastic friend 
and the most incredible mentor. And I truly thank him for helping me become the person I am today. So this is freaking hard <laughs> to walk away from this, but 25, um, turning 26. And I think I've just hit the point in my life where I'm, I'm just ready to move on and, and start fresh. And um, I'm beginning an entirely new career. And that's, that's really it. There's no special anything. There's no big reveal or anything like that. It's just getting a little older. And I've made the decision to move into a new career, step away, and, and that's it. This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so, yeah, without, I mean, without going into too much detail, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really much more for me to say except the really important point I wanna get across is that words cannot express the gratitude I have for Aaron and Devin behind the scenes and Kylie, Chloe, all the people along the way who have literally seen me grow up and have, have taught me responsibility and accountability and so many incredible life skills that I don't think I ever would have found in any other area at that age. I really don't think I would have been able to build those skills by myself. So the fact that I was able to learn from this Braille family will forever mean everything to me, pretty much. Um, I'm not gonna be gone forever. I won't be formally employed, but I will remain a part of the Braille family, hopefully forever. Obviously my life's gonna be a little crazy for a while, but once everything kinda cools down a little bit, I do plan to come and stop by on weekends and hopefully film videos with the fellas. So I'm not gonna be gone forever. I'm still gonna be a member of the family. We're all still gonna be friends. Everything's good. Definitely gonna go over to Aaron's house and we're gonna play the Elden Ring DLC together. I can't wait for that. It's all just, just love and, and a celebration of, of 10 incredible, irreplaceable years of my life that no, no amount of talking and no amount of words will ever, ever be able to, to summarize and, and explain, I guess. Yeah, I'm having a hard time coming up with the words, but it's just there's so much that happens in 10 years that all you can really do is just kind of sit back and, and think back on all of it and just, you know, get emotional and, and, and be happy for what we accomplished. Basically, I sit here today and, and what I think about is the 15-year-old that I was back then that looked up to Aaron, that learned how to skate from him, and then started to work with him. 10 incredible years pass, and I'm still here turning 26, and I'm stepping away, but the only thing that I hope I walk away with is that as, I just hope I've made you guys proud. So thank you for the incredible 10 years. For everyone watching this at home, who's ever seen me in a video or supported me in any way, or if you were lucky enough to get your hands on one of my skateboards over the last few years, or one of my shirts, or even just a sticker, or I was able to meet you in real life and take a photo with you, or see you on the all-terrain tour, or hopefully teach you how to do some kind of skateboard trick over the last 10 years, I really would not have been in this position without all of you guys. So for those of you who have watched the videos over all these years, thank you for everything. And this is it. I don't even know how to end it. I mean, I know how to end it. And I guess the only real way I can end it is by doing, doing the thing. <laughs> That, the thing that I have not wanted to do for many years, but I guess that's really the only way that I can go out and have it be as real as possible. All right. I guess we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm really sad that Gabe is leaving. He was my bigger brother, and when I lived near him, he would always take me to the Brow House, and we would just listen to music, <laughs> talk about funny stories, just have the time of our lives. And when he told me this, I, I was really sad. I was like, damn. But it didn't hit me until the day after that he might, he's, he's gone for good. Or like with Braille. So I was in my bed just crying. I was literally crying. I'm not even joking. So I'm gonna really miss Gabe. He put in so much work, did a lot more work than you guys say he does. He's the one who 
comes up with all the ideas, gets all the videos to all the people, gets the videos out. He puts in so much work. So you guys gotta give Gabe more credit. You guys are too hard on him, but I'm gonna miss him very much. And I wish him all the best for the future. Love you, Gabe. Ugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here. Get out of here. He's trying to hear me right now. He has to wait till the video. Oh man, where do I even start? Uh, I've been here for like, what, three, four years? Game Dang, it's been that long? <laughs> yeah, Jesus! Time flies like that, I'm telling you. But within those years, I mean, Gabe has definitely been, you know, the whole, really the backbone of Braille. So, you know, he's helped me a lot with a lot of things here and, uh, you know, super grateful for everything. You know, I'm a little bit more behind the scenes filming or whatnot, but, uh, you know, Gabe and I, we got a lot of memories too. Um, and a lot of them are not even in here. A lot of them are, you know, us, going outside doing you know crazy things partying if you didn't know gabe and i we like to party <laughs> um but yeah man i know gabe is off uh to do uh other things bigger better things so i wish him nothing but the best gabe i know you're watching this do not become a stranger you know i hope we we continue being uh good friends as we were here and uh this isn't the end i mean it might be the end as of now for you here at Braille, but uh, you know, not our friendship. So may have sounded a little, a little cheesy, but uh, I mean, yeah, man, I love you. We all do here. So uh, wish you the best. Damn, man. Gabe Cruz, zero one, Gabe Cruz, zero one. Man, what can I say about Gabe? Absolutely love him so much. And honestly, it was really an honor to spend all this time with him and he worked so hard here at Braille too. So huge shout out to Gabe for all the things that he'd done for this channel over this such a long period of time. And you know, it is funny because the only reason that I joined Braille was purely because of Gabe Cruz, the ripstick god. Do you guys remember that era of Gabe Cruz, the ripstick god? Well, I skated a ripstick in Australia and the comments on my Instagram, they said, Gabe Cruz, Gabe Cruz, Gabe Cruz. And I go, huh. Who is this Gabe Cruz guy? And then that's the whole reason that I ended up coming on the trip to America to meet up with them, to go ripsticking, and ended up getting the job here at Braille. So shout out to the ripstick god. We'll keep ripsticking for you out here, Gabe. But honestly, I wish you all the best in the future and nothing but love for you. Truly, Gabe, it was an honor to spend all this time with you. And you spent so much time filming me, battling tricks, doing crazy, silly things. So I got so much love for you. I wish you all the best, Gabe Cruz. Two sprites in less than two hours is crazy. All right, Gabe usually tells me to clap, and Gabe usually tells me to turn the mic on. And that's not happening no more. <laughs> I can't start like that, bro. This is a sad time in world history right now. This is like uh, something you might learn in your history books when you're in junior high or something about this Braille his history lesson. Today's the final day of many days and many hours and many 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 times i don't even know how to put words into uh into this i don't even know what to say i don't know how to feel i don't know how to look i don't know what to eat <laughs> it is just oh. as you could say that it's a big blur it's like leading a man into the forest with nothing <laughs> my dog i'm a miss gabe i'm not gonna get emotional but i could get emotional if you know what I mean, I could shred a tear, I could not. I could say a lot, I could say nothing. <laughs> my mother dog, man, my dog. He helped me grow a lot in the world history and time of Braille skateboarding. He's helped me film a lot. He's put many, many countless of hours behind the lens. He, he's drove us a lot. We probably drove him insane, like a dog barking 24 seven. That's probably us. Not always, but always bickering, giving him stuff. Oh, man, I don't even know, bruh. I don't even know, cuzos. Gabe was like family. So when one brother leaves, it's kind of hard to put into words. Usually Gabe helps me with these interviews. You don't even know. He has questions for me and he mutes them out or he puts them in. When I'm going through a tough time in skating and I get pissed off, he tells me to chill out. He says the right things. When I'm hungry, he looks on Yelp and says, bruh, I got you. Even though I'm not a Yelper, my dog is, and I 100% love Yelp for his reasonings. We talk about sports all day. He's a Niner fan, I'm a Raider fan. We love sports, we love the Warriors. Though it's gonna be sad coming in and not talking about the Warriors. 
But we got Big D, we got Jones. I don't even know what to say, bro. It's like my head spinning in 720 in JD's vert ramp, but I'm just stuck in the middle. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. I hope he still calls me, texts me, are you gonna be here? Where are you at? Text me on the late night, like you trying to work tomorrow at like one or like 11. Even though he don't text me at one, he texts me at like 10, the latest. So sorry dog for texting you late. Honestly, last night might have been the final text like that. He texted me at like 10.30. I was out eating and I was kind of sad because I didn't reply because I was eating. I should have replied. I replied to him this morning. <laughs> I don't even know dog. I don't even know what to say. When I started here, Gabe was here, and he was like giving me the right advice on what to say and what to do, what not to say. He said, whoa! <laughs> I love you, Gabe. You're my dog for life. We still gonna travel around to who knows where, and we're still gonna live life to the fullest, and we're gonna live every day to the fullest. We're gonna do whatever we got to do. We're gonna have fun, and we're gonna be honoring Gabe he has not left, but he had left. He'll always be here with us. And I know if we ever need advice, he's a phone call away. I love you, dog. It's recording. Are you recording over there already? Yeah. Oh, it's been recording this whole time? It's been 30 seconds. Man, how do I feel about this? I don't know, but I mean, Pretty much, you know, like I came, I, I'm coming up on almost 10 years. I think this year is eight, nine years, eight years, nine years. A lot of memories, man. I, when, I, when I first joined, I thought Gabe hated me. I think everybody did. I mean, we've, uh, we're actually like the, the person on the team I've grown like the closest to. So I don't know how I feel about this. I'm like, I'm stoked for the kid, but I'm not stoked at all because he's like kind of like the glue around here. Like <clears throat> the kid, he does, he does a lot. Like a lot, and he keeps everything going. So now I'm like, I don't know, dude. It's gonna be different, it's gonna be weird. I don't like it. But that's life, right? Everybody gotta move on. I don't know. We have a lot of memories together, like a lot. I got probably the funniest videos of Gabe that I, some of them I can't even post because he told me not to. But it, pure actual Gabe in his pureness is the most wonderful thing ever, so. Yeah, man, it sucks. But we're gonna be keeping on keeping on, right? Um, what else can I say? I don't know, man. So, yeah, good luck, brother. Love you. Show must go on. I'm gonna be here as long as I could be here for you guys, for myself, for fun, and we're gonna keep it going. Good luck out there, brother. Damn, this sucks, man. <laughs> I, this, is, this, is, this is the last day that we're filming with him. That's crazy, but whatever. All right, man. Well, we'll see you out there. Gabe, so does this mean, are you trying to tell me that this means you're never gonna drop in? I know what this is about. You're trying to get out of the drop in. You're like, everybody wants me to drop in so bad, I'm gonna go and quit. Never give up, never give up. No, I'm just kidding. I love, we love you, Gabe Cruz. Here's the deal. I first met you at Fremont Skate Park. You came up to me and said, can you teach me how to do a 360 flip? I sent you a skate support where I teleported in. And I said, what the, that was you? Teleported in? I said, yeah, that was me. I teleported in. I said, wow, you got the editing skills. And I, I don't have no idea how old you were at that point, but you were a young buck. And now I've seen you grow into an old man. You've gotten so old that you've taken up golf, <laughs> which is a rough situation and I understand that. Um, but seriously, you're the absolute best. You're the greatest. The create and all the life and everything that you've brought to Braille has been absolutely incredible. You come up with these wild, crazy video ideas. You get the crew together, you get them inspired. We go on these amazing trips and we have so, so, so many good memories which are there and which will never go away. And I will always cherish them more than anything else in the entire world. And I wish you the absolute best of luck. I have no idea what you're thinking, why are you going? I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying to pull it out of you and understand this move. But I do understand and I do respect you. And I understand that, you know, people change and they grow up and they gotta move on. But there is this famous quote, Gabriel Horacio Iglesias Cruz, 
It says, didn't quit skateboarding because you got old. You got old because you quit skateboarding. Just remember that. And just remember, any time you want to go shred, I'm with you. I will go shred. And if you want to play a round of golf, I got you. I am probably the worst golfer in the history of golf, but I will golf it up with you if you drop in on the vert ramp. I'm just kidding. You don't got to drop in on the vert ramp. You don't got to do that at all. But we love you. Um, yeah, what else can I say? All the good times we've had, all the crazy memories, all the times you called me and said, Aaron, you will not believe what just happened. <laughs> or, Aaron, I'm sorry. We broke another light in the Braille house. Every, everything. It's been crazy, it's been incredible, it's been an amazing journey, and we cannot, we can absolutely not thank you enough. I hope we can play some old footage in this video with some sappy music, maybe a little bit of uh, black and white footage. But yes, some of my favorite memories with Gabriel Horacio Iglesias Cruz is when he said, there's no way this Christmas tree will go through the roof. It will lose all its momentum. And then bada boom, bada bang, Christmas tree, through the roof. In all the games of skate we played, in all the games of skate that you never won. I wish I could say that I, I never lost to you, but there was that one game in the history where you got me. I believe, I could be wrong on this, but I believe it was Crocs Game of Skate. We were at Woodward. It was an absolute blast. I mean, this channel basically started with Gabe and I playing games of skate. I mean, you guys say now, I would see it in the comments all day. Well, Brails ran out of ideas. Brails ran out of ideas. Back in the day, it used to literally be just me and Gabe, and all we would do is play a game of skate. Game of skate in Crocs, game of skate with no grip tape, game of skate with grip tape, game of skate all switch. Like, whatever it was, we would just play tons of games of skate. And you know, I miss that. I miss those days. So I love you, Gabriel Horacio Iglesias Cruz, and I wish you the best of luck. I can't wait to go to your wedding and see you get married and see you go into the next chapter of your life and be there in the background saying, Gabe, let's go. And I just want to thank you for all the hard work you've given all of the people out there, every single person who picked up a skateboard, every single person who learned how to ollie, kickflip, shove it, etc. because of the videos that you made, that you inspired them, you're an absolute legend. Keep crushing it, Gabriel Horacio Iglesias Cruz. We'll see you in the next video. But actually, we won't, which is so weird. You know, Gabe needs to get in this video, and he needs to be like, for all the people that told me to not yell in the videos, <laughs> shout out to all the people that told Gabriel Horacio Iglesias Cruz to not yell in the videos, because now, you're, I, I guarantee what we're gonna hear is see in the comments, man, I wish Gabe was here to yell in the videos. You know, you don't know what you miss until it's gone. Okay, we are here with the man, the myth, the legend. I'm doing it. You're gonna drop in? I'm doing it. Right now on vert. If it's my last day, I gotta go out with a bang. This would be a bang. Oh my gosh. The biggest of bang. I'm nervous, man. I would like to try to just start at the beginning, go low, higher, 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 higher. I'm not doing the eight foot because that's terrifying. I think I'd rather just go straight to the vert because there's more vert on the eight foot ramp than there is on that one. We ready. Oh, I'm not. Go All to right. the smallest and build it up. Just two foot. This is an appropriate t-shirt today. Yeah. You know, I literally thought that when I put that on this morning. <laughs> I literally was like, if I'm going out today, I might as well be wearing like the most appropriate shirt. Go out with a bang. But do I look absolutely swagged out? You look, I look fire. Like, <laughs> do I look yeah, fire? you do. All right. It's been a while. It's been a while. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I, I haven't been skating too much because I've been nursing a back injury, which really tells me I'm getting old. Nursing a back injury from golfing, which tells you you're getting really, really <laughs> old. It was actually from doing deadlifts, but it's each their own. That right. too, yeah. Three feet, which is not too bad. I'm feeling pretty confident up until like five feet. Yeah? And then it kind of all goes downhill. I think that's four feet up there. Yeah. Four feet. I get into these situations with myself. We're here in April of 2024. And I just wish I did this three years ago, dude. I just wish that I did not add this much torment to my life. I understand. Oh, all right. Four. Out into the sunset. If I did that on a vert ramp, would I be safe? 
A thousand percent. Dude. You would totally very, very easily land this. I'm trying to you want to do the six foot? I'm doing five. Oh, this is five. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Let's see if he can even run up it. Wow, look at you. Limber, spry. This is getting real. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy money. I don't want to do the six because then it means I have to go do the vert ramp. Easy. <sighs> easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. I mean, we, oh, you did it the other week and you were terrified. Yeah, I had a smolly on. And you legitimately almost died too. But I had a smolly on. That is so, <laughs> that was so different. Without a smolly, it's no problem. No, you would have been fine. Oh, why? One hundred. I should have just left in peace. <laughs> Make sure you touch the lucky sticker. Oh my God. I hate this rent, Aaron. I hate it. Everybody hates I, it. I hate this rent. I love it for JD because he just got second place at Tampa Pro, but I hate this rent. Lucky sticker. Yes, sir. And it doesn't help. You got to do a full cardio workout to make it up there. And then I don't know if my heart's beating from adrenaline or just because I'm out of shape. I hate this ramp, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <sighs> okay, hold on. Don't look at it, right? Look at it. No, look at it and go. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right, all right. All right, three, two, one. Oh! Are you good, bro? I'm never doing that again. But yes, with all that being said, it is true, it is real. This is my last day with Braille skateboarding. My last day as an employee here. I wanted to post this as, as far away from April Fool's Day as possible so no one thinks it's a joke, but this is the decision that I've made. As, as an adult, 25 turning 26, this is the decision that I've made for myself that it's just time for me to move on. It's nothing really more than that, but I just wanna make sure that you guys 100% understand that this is serious, this is real. This is my last day with Braille skateboarding. And I guess for the for the last time, <laughs> this is weird. For the last time, there's some videos right there. Go ahead and check them out. Subscribe, like, leave those comments below. And we'll see you in the next video.